All right, so I'm recording this on uh, March 31st, which is uh, 2024. It's Easter, and tomorrow is going to be April Fool's Day because I had to do Puff Daddy's card reading, or P. Diddy, whatever you want to call him, because he's a damn fool, all right? They just raided his home. It's 2024, and everything's going down. Seen the video of his kids get handcuffed. He's trying to waltz around and be, you know, nonchalant. So I had to do a card reading. I had to ask. And I couldn't believe it. The first card that I pulled was the uh, devil card. I just couldn't even believe it. Look at that. That's the devil card, okay? And the funny part about this card is that if you see that the uh, devil, he's dancing on the graves of the people who he controls, right? And you see his little heart. He controls emotion, which, what is music like? It's like emotion, right? And that's... What P. Diddy is known for, you know, his weird little dancing, remember back in the 90s? Do, 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 do. And I just laughed when I saw it. I said, I can't believe this thing. The first card is the devil card? Because I asked, is all these allegations that's going on with Puff Daddy, all these rumors that we've been hearing for years now, it's 2024, are they true? And the first card they gave me was the devil card? I'm talking about Katy Perry talking about, sold my soul to the devil. That's how I got famous. And this is more than Puff Daddy. This goes through Hollywood. This goes through the entire industry. This goes through what Cat Williams, Dave Chappelle has been warning us about and how it's coming to the light. And as we delve into this card reading, the P. Diddy card reading or Puff Daddy card reading, we are going to start to see how the information is going to start coming to the surface. And this is why I will release this on April 1st. 2024, which is April Fool's Day, because anybody believing in this joke, in this industry in Hollywood, is a damn fool. You might as well be one of these. And we're going to need you guys to start freeing yourselves. You understand that? You, you see that? You see that little black crow right there? Some of you people that have been beneath the hooves of these uh, people in the industry that have been dancing and playing with our emotions. You see that? They know how to manipulate your emotions. Okay? And isn't it so funny that P. Diddy always with his funny dance in the 90s. Him and Mace and Tupac and, you know, Biggie Smalls and everything. Well, let's get into it. Because that's the first card. First question I ask is like all these allegations. What's going on with P. Diddy? Is this true or not? I want to do a card reading. I received the devil card, man. Not to mention that Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G., before he died, before he came out with his Ready to Die album and his Life After Death album, all this death and Tupac and all that, who was behind it all? Sean P. Diddy Combs. Who lasted... All of that outlasted all of that. All the drama, all of the Faith Evans, all the stuff in the 90s and this, this, and that. Mace becoming a damn preach, preacher, the P. Diddy, Usher, all this stuff that just is the truth that is coming to light in 2024 is going to continue to come to light. And let's continue on my card reading. Second card, fruits. We all know the women the money, J-Lo. Doesn't that look like J-Lo? Isn't it so funny how it just looks like J-Lo with some horns on? Just picking the fruits. Yeah, the dude could pick any chick he wanted. We already saw that. I'm not telling you anything new. I'm just showing you the card reading. But how did he get it? How has this industry been or, uh, organized? Huh? What did Carrie Patty say, Carrie, Carrie, uh, Katy Perry say? What did Bob Dylan say? The guy that's uh, running the old... Uh, the, yeah, and they were able to have all the fruits. They had all the plenish. They had it all. They got rid of West Coast, East Coast, East Coast, West Coast. They created it all and then ended it all. And then who came out the king of all that? Puff Daddy. He had his pick of the litter. J-Lo, whoever. I don't know the new girl. I heard Cassidy. I don't know all that Cassidy story. I don't know that. I, I don't know. I'm just doing my card reading, right? This next card reading is very important. Okay. Nine of Swords. Those are the storm crows that are now approaching Sean Diddy Combs. Okay. And not only Sean Diddy Combs, these are all the independent artists, myself included, that tried to go there. 
I've had people come up to me in bars back in the day and offer me record contracts. I don't know why. I'm working on stuff. I'm just barely learning Pro Tools. I'm just doing this. I'm just doing that. Just strange events happen, you know? And all of you independent artists and people that was hanging out with Puffy and doing everything, this is a storm. This is now Sean Puffy Combs. The storm crows are now coming for you, P. Diddy. They're coming for you, Puffy. This is you. This is how I felt. I remember just being just an independent artist and having this whole thing. And I remember listening to a Ludacris album back in the day. And he was talking about all this stuff that, like, there's a secret police uh, force after their ass. And I can't remember the songs, but just, like, I remember he was talking about Lucifer and his songs. And just all this demonic, weird stuff. And all you independent artists have probably experienced the same thing. We could try to get on. And in the link below, I'm going to put a, 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 my uh, Archangel Michael song. Because this just reminds me of this, why I have my Archangel Michael. It's just a, just a strange, random coincidence that, you know, just like looks like Archangel Michael. And I'm telling you this, I tried to get famous. I ran around the Charger Stadium in San Diego. I did all this. But I got kneecapped by my family. And I just think about Cat Williams talking about the Illuminati. I remember my dad coming home one day. My dad says, hey, man, the Illuminati sent me this book and this information and then blah, 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 blah. And then like two days later, I'm like, whatever happened to that Illuminati thing in that book? And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, you know. And then I had to leave them. I can't even talk to my brother because of all the stuff they tried to do. They kneecapped to me, man. I was this close with, with some songs for the NFL. I had this whole dream. I had this whole aspiration. I told my dad, and it's like they came knocking on the door. And we're starting to see that more and more around like oh whoa, whoa. and if anybody has ever tried to do music you're gonna know there's some shady stuff in in hollywood just listen to dave chappelle and cat williams now you're starting to see it because the storm is amongst you puffy it's amongst you p diddy the storm is coming for you now when it was us now it's you because you have sold your soul to the devil and maybe, maybe not, but this is what my card reading says. It's literally the devil card. So just, just saying, just go in there. But with that being said, let's move on to the next card. I don't want to get all to that. I want to digress and get back into my card reading. I don't want to be all butthurt because my parents did this and my dad and my mom because, you know, family stuff happens. I am mad. I can't talk to my brother because he's so connected to them, but whatever. He's never done anything to me. That's all I want to say. This thing, however, is I believe that P. Diddy Combs and all of them have just become, you know, too powerful. You see her? She's sitting there at the edge of the ocean, which sometimes I, 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 I view this as a deep dive. And there has been, a, this is just like a two-edged sword. There's a deep dive going on. And there's people that work for him that are releasing information. But also, they've become, the industry with Puff Daddy, too in love with themselves. Too confident. Too cocky. And this is why they're cracking, okay? And do you understand? She's standing at the ocean right there. And she's looking. And she's a mermaid. So she's in the ocean. She's staring at the, the water. And she's just staring at it. But you have to see these other things. They're, they're kind of creeping up on her. These Sith. The, I, I can't remember the, the, the Sith or something. But something's kind of creeping up on them, and they're too in love with themselves. You understand? Puffy is in love with himself. They, these people, the industry is too in love with itself. And this this is the uh, Four of Cups, all right? This is the Four of Cups. And let's go back to the Three of Cups, because that is the very next card. And this is this is why I love this card reading. This is why I love it. I can't believe the Devil card, the first card when I ask about this. But then we have the Four of Cups, and the person kind of falls in love with themselves, and things are kind of creeping up on them. Because this one right here, the Three of Cups, is where the information starts bubbling to the surface. The stuff like Justin Bieber at 15 years old, he's partying with Puffy. And then Cat Williams is saying, hey man, careful with partying with Puffy. Do you think 15-year-old Justin Bieber, that's why this guy, I've seen him in interviews, he starts to break it down and crying and talking about his fame and his rise to fame. And I'm like, what's going on? Because all this information, Puffy, is going to start bubbling to the surface. It has been for years. We've all been kind of almost like 
overwhelmed with it. Like, okay, you guys got a little gay mafia, whatever. Nobody cares. Ask yourself since 2020, why is it the, the, the significance has been on the rainbow flag that just tells you that, okay, this is a gay bar. Two dudes might want to get it on or whatever. It, 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 it's so much on like this, this just sexual activity, just black lives matter. It's because all this evidence has been coming to the surface. Um, there was one lawsuit he had when they were claiming this, this, and that. And you understand. I understand. Famous people. Atani, whatever his name is, the baseball player for the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2024. I kind of believe that his uh, interpreter stole money from him. I remember John Elway was like, you better be signing your own checks. There's, stuff happens. You know, the guy doesn't know English. He doesn't know how to just write English. It's freaking Japanese or Chinese, wherever he's from. I get it. But the information is just bubbling to the surface. And that's what this is telling me. And isn't it so funny that the last card was this person just looking into the ocean, looking into everything they have, videotapes, information, Epstein Island type stuff. And then the very next card was all that information coming to the surface. Get it? You understand it? This is totally esoteric, and I want to take a little uh, derail right now. If Biggie Smalls was doing 666, and I've seen that Jay-Z and Beyonce were using Marina Baramovich and doing esoteric things like rubbing dookie and poop and, and feces on the um, Baphomet, um, I'm going to take all that back. Yeah. Just little old me. I'm taking all that back because the Baphomet explains this attack we're under. What are we under right now? Transgender. Dudes in women's bathroom. Look at the Baphomet. It's male and female. What's sitting in his stomach? It's that little medicine thing they have on all the medical thing. Shots, shots, and mo shots over 2020. Since we're in 2024 right now, okay? What does this thing mean? The astrolite connection to all. Internet, Wi-Fi, connection to it all. Longhorns, what does that mean? And why is it a goat? Because a goat is a sheep that wakes up and grows its horns. And remember, in the original uh, rendition that was drawn by Elvis Levy, who, if you research him, found that the Catholic Church back in the 1800s was garbage. And that's why he didn't go there. He eventually had to join with the Freemasons because he wanted to make sure that his uh, renderings, his information was passed on, which was totally esoteric and totally um, not with the church, not in line, but because he joined with the Freemasons, his information passed on. Now, I want to finish with the last card, and I want to talk specifically to Sean Puffy Combs. This is you, bro. You've been living on the edge, on the precipice for so long. You've pushed the boundary so long. You went this way. Look at, look at that. Is that Biggie? Is that Tupac? You have pressed it so far that you keep getting away with it. And I think you're so cocky. And, and, and yes, you have paid for this bridge. You keep paying. I think you pay for this bridge. But at what point does the bridge end? And at what point do you end yourself on this bridge? Right now, Sean Puffy Combs in 2024 is on the edge. And he's always lived on the edge. They, I remember this one song with Jay Easy, Party in with Puffy. I mean, they brag about it. He's been on the edge. That's, he doesn't know any other way to live. But bro, you are eventually coming to the precipice. Ask yourself, do you want to turn around and try to clean your karma up? Or do you want to keep moving forward? And do you think the universe is going to keep propelling you? With that being said, it's March 31st, 2024. And tomorrow, it's April 1st, 2024. April Fool's Day. Easter. And I will deliver this message at my uh, Rumble, at Mikey Romero, at my YouTube at Mikey Romero 8521, on Facebook at Romero 235, at Gab at Mikey Romero, and at X at Mikey Romero 235. All right? 
Uh, I'll also be in Mexico City in a couple of weeks. And then I'll release those videos, chop them up into some shorts, and have some fun. That's my PDD um, card reading. Until the next adventure, until the next card reading, peace out.